In this video, we'll show you how to remove and install a wheel on your bike. Hello, Calvin Jones here with Park Tool Company. First, let's go over the tools and supplies needed. This process is typically done without any tools, but if your bike is equipped with a solid axle, you'll need an appropriate wrench to loosen it. First, let's make it easy to drop the wheel. On rear wheels, begin by shifting to the smallest cog in the front and rear, which gives you the most chain slack. If you have a caliper rim brake, look for a quick release lever located at the caliper arm. Simply flip the lever up to open both pads. The caliper quick release can also be a button at the lever. Pull the lever slightly, push the button, and release the lever. Cantilever brakes disengage by squeezing the calipers together and disconnecting the brake cable. Linear pull brakes use an elbow-shaped piece of tubing known as a noodle. Squeeze the arms together and disengage the noodle. If you have disc brakes, no pad disengagement is necessary. And with hydraulic brakes, never squeeze the lever when the disc is out of the bike. Otherwise, the pads will close and you will have a very difficult time getting the wheel back on the bike. If this happens, you can spread the pads using a purpose-built pad spreader, such as on the MTB 3.2 Rescue Tool. Alternatively, use a small flat-bladed screwdriver. However, this can end up damaging your pads. Now we can remove the wheel from the frame. A traditional quick-release axle uses open dropouts. Simply pull the quick-release lever outwards and, if necessary, loosen the skewer. For wheels with axle nuts, loosen both axle nuts with an appropriate wrench. On through axles, there are different systems. For some, pull the lever outward and use it to turn the axle counterclockwise until you're able to pull it straight out. Other systems use a lever to engage a fitting on the axle. Turn this counterclockwise until you can remove the axle. Some through axle systems have a simple lever. Turn it to loosen or tighten. On a rear wheel, it's a bit more complicated because we need to clear the derailleur and chain. Simply pivot the derailleur back. Some derailleurs have clutch mechanisms that make it difficult to pivot the derailleur. These come with a feature to help remove the wheel easily. For SRAM, move the lower pulley forward to relax the chain and use the button to lock it in place. For Shimano clutch derailleurs, look for the on-off lever. Move the lever to the off position. Now let's put the wheel back on. On the front wheel of an open dropout quick release, make sure the hub is fully seated into the fork. Hold the lever while you tighten the nut. The skewer should be tight enough so that the lever meets resistant at about 90 degrees from the frame. The final position of the lever is important. The lever should be oriented upwards in a position where it can be easily disengaged, yet won't be a danger of getting caught on foreign objects. On a rear wheel, put the cogs into the loop of the chain and pivot the derailleur back and lift the wheel up into the dropouts, making sure the hub is fully seated. Adjust the tension of the quick release as with the front, placing the lever between the chain stays and seat stays. The lever needs to be fully closed and flat. On a solid axle bike, tighten both axle nuts to manufacturer's recommended torque, typically about 25 newton meters. With a hand wrench, use perceived effort. For 25 newton meters, apply about 40 pounds of effort, holding a wrench five inches from the axle. Now let's look at the through axle system, starting with the front wheel. Install the wheel into the dropouts. Slide the axle into place, then turn it clockwise to tighten the fork against the hub. The lever should be tight and oriented so it's easy to get at. On the rear wheel, as with open dropouts, make sure the rear hub is fully seated. Install the through axle, making sure it's tight. Be sure to re-engage the quick release on any rim brake.
If you had the clutch type derailleurs, remember to turn it to the riding position. For SRAM derailleurs, push the lever forward to release the cage. For Shimano, flip the lever back to the on position. Verify the wheel is centered in the frame or fork. Check also any rim brake pads are centered to the wheel and adjust as necessary. Especially for disc brakes on open dropouts, make sure the disc is not rubbing the pads as shown. Adjust as necessary. This concludes wheel removal and installation. Thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe for the latest videos from Park Tool.